you know, now, now One Direction are just being mean. We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. Hi everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. Okay, so, you know what? I don't, I don't want to be in this fandom anymore. <laughs> they just released a single Friday. They just released a single yesterday. And you mean to tell me they're releasing more? That's six singles. Like, damn, we're going to have half the album before it even comes out. Okay, okay, whatever. Y'all already know how it goes. I'm going to react to it. Oh, shit. See, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay, so this song is called Love You Goodbye. Um, I had said that I was ready for um, history which came out, which I'm so excited. Ugh, I love it. Um, I was ready for Olivia. They better not release Olivia because I will seriously die. I just feel like Olivia is going to be fire. And I was ready for them to release the quote-unquote song that Louis wrote, but I could not think of the name of it. This is the song that Louis wrote. And that makes me even more excited. Like, if it, like I don't know if it's already been visible or if, you know, whatever. Um, if you don't know... Louis' voice is my favorite, and I love whenever his parts come up, so the fact that he wrote this song is just making me happy, okay? So I have it on Spotify, as always, and we're about to listen to it right now, okay? I'm worried. And clearly, Niall is AF with this song, because he's just been, he did, like, three tweets just the, tweeting the lyrics, like, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Oh, just the beginning, just how it comes in. Oh, it already sounds sad. Oh, it comes to an end. Why? Is that Liam? I believe that's Liam. After this, we can still be friends. Oh, Lord. You don't want to hurt me. Maybe you should so show a little mercy. I know you didn't. Oh, I know you didn't come to apologize. Oh. Even though it's of you should stay tonight. Harry, stop! Maybe tomorrow you won't be mine. Won't you give it to me one last time? Okay. Hold on. Let me love you good. Okay. Let me love you goodbye. Love you in the sheets. Okay. Okay. Bass singer right now. All right. Yeah. Oh. Why Louis write the sad song? <sighs> to walk out of my life, I can't. It's so chill, but it's sad. It's so it's sad though. I'm waiting for Louis part. Where we <laughs> they be anticipating his part. They know I'll be waiting for his part. Ooh, the guitar is beautiful. Is that Liam? No, not Liam. Is that is that Louis right now? Kind of feel like he's singing with somebody else. He's singing with somebody else. Taste of your lips. Okay, he held that note pretty well. <laughs> I like the concept of this song. I'm sorry, but what? You know what? I don't appreciate this song. Harry, I did not appreciate that. You ain't have to ad lib it like that. You ain't have to do that. Okay. First of all, um, I don't appreciate this song. How dare you put me in my emotions like that? How dare you, Louis Tomlinson? How dare you? That man said. So, so pretty much what they're saying is, is that, you know, we broke up with each other, whatever. We still love each other, but we don't think this is going to work out. So why not have say why not make love just one last time before we end it all? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I, I was no goodbye. Good I, I can't I can't. This song was good. It was so slow. I wasn't expecting it to be slow, but I guess if it has love you in it, it's possibly slow slowness talking about romance. But I loved it. Like it was just kinda it was chill. One D need more chill songs. I'm so happy this is chill. And I just, I applaud Louis for it. That was nice. That was nice. And his part, his part was nice. And the song is just nice. Okay, I've, I've done, I've done. I'm mainly upset at the fact that they keep releasing 
singles. And again, it was released in the AM. It was released at like 8 or 9 or 10 or something like that. I don't know. I know one thing that they're still taking they <laughs> they take they take their thing too literal. It sounds like a breakup. It's a fucking breakup song and I don't I don't know how I should feel about it. I don't I don't know how I I, mm, I <sighs> Let me not. It's three more days until the album and something is telling me that they are going to literally be, be releasing singles every day up until this album and I'm not ready. I'm not prepared and I hope that's not what they do because this is too much. This is too much. Oh my goodness. I feel so stressed out listening to that song. <laughs> I don't know. It, it sounded like a story. Like it sounded like a movie, like The Notebook or something. It sounded like something that you see on TV. And you know, clearly Louis was watching Lifetime when he wrote this song because he was watching Lifetime and he was studying lyrics from Drake because that, that's how he got me feeling. He got me feeling like Drake right now, and I cannot. I I. I... Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I hope y'all truly enjoy this song because it really is magical and it really is beautiful and I know they tweeted saying uh go here to watch what the song is about or whatever so I'm gonna go and check it out and see what they were talking about if you don't know already I'm going to be reviewing Justin Bieber's album Purpose and One Direction's album Made in the AM of course on Friday the 13th wait wait they're releasing albums on Friday the 3rd. Why did that just not register? Anyways, I'm going to be reviewing those, um, possibly with my candle lit so no evil spirits will be in this bitch because no. If you want to see me review it, feel free to hit the subscribe button and become a sour and join our community because I love all of them. They love all me. You know, they are all my kids and I am the mom. So if you are prepared for me to be your mom, hit the subscribe button and we will be related. I will see you guys in my next video, which I'm hoping is going to be on Friday. But if they keep releasing singles, it... Remember there were five Ds, but Jimmy only protested for one. And I, I don't think Jimmy was expecting the song to break his heart because it broke his heart, it broke my heart, it broke Obama's heart, it broke Jesus' heart. It just, it just, a widespread of broken hearts and we cannot. Bye guys.